Mais ton 
We want to give you a definition of the word scared. I know you know it, but we just want to define it. Samson's parents had problems with um, having a child. 
The Bible said that one day his mother was in the field and an angel of God approached her. The angel said to the mother that I know you have a problem with having a child, but today you will bear the fruit of our child. Rules. Rules. I'm going to give you certain rules for you to do in order for you to keep that child. You will not consume alcohol. You will not consume wine or um, certain alcoholic drinks. You cannot eat anything that is impure. Because the child is already consecrated from the womb until the day that he When the child grows up, you cannot cut his hair. Because he is the one that's going to deliver Israel, is the Israelites from the hands of the Philistines. When the, when the mother heard this, the angel of the, the angel of God disappeared. She went. The mother went and told her husband. After speaking with her husband, the husband went to pray and asked God to um, reveal the angel to him. The Lord heard his prayer and the angel of God came, came again to visit the woman. Uh, the woman brought, um, called her husband to come where the angel was. The husband repeated what he said and asked if everything that she, the angel told his wife is true. After the father, um, after the father um, stopped speaking to the angel, she asked, he asked the angel what was his name. And then Andrew said, My name is Marvelous. Wherever you see in the Bible what it says, the angel of God is not angels, it's God Himself. The Bible says that the father and the mother gave offering to God. When the smoke went up, the angel was there and it disappeared. If um, God wanted to kill us, he would have never given us this message, no accept our offering. After a while, the woman got pregnant and gave birth and named the child Samson. Samson means um, small son. When Samson started growing up, now we just read. The Bible says that when Samson was growing up, the God's spirit was inside him. Um, the Bible says that the spirit of God started pushing, pushing Samson. Um, during that time, the Philistine was really on top of the Israel. They were um, over, overpowering them. Samson, 
Philistines. And the Bible says that Samson went to tame the, the, the village of the Philistines. He saw a girl and he liked her. He said he wanted to marry her. He went and told his parents, and the parents asked him, Why not pick a woman from our uh, 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 tribe? Why not? Uh, why pick a woman from the Philistines? Samson said he just wants that one. So all those things were pushed by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. The Bible says, when Samson, after Samson told his parents he went to Timna to go and meet this woman, on his journey, he met up a he met up a lion. He came across a very angry lion. He, the Bible says that he killed that lion and he continued his journey to Timna. When he went when he got there, he met, he met up with the girl and he came back. He went back home. Um, the Bible says when he after going back home he also went back to Timna to meet the girl but on his way he saw where the area where he killed the lion there was honey. The Bible says that he took the honey and he ate it on his way. And when he went back home, he also gave some to his parents. But he never told them where he got it from. A few of today is whatever is that makes you scared, you're going to conquer it. The things that make you scared, you're going to overcome it. The Bible says Samson in his journey to go to Timna, he met a woman. He came across a very angry lion. The lion wasn't sleeping, he was very angry. The Bible says that Samson ripped the lion in two as if he was ripping a child, um, a small goat. He could have been scared, but he wasn't scared, but he, instead he ripped the lion apart. Whatever it is that makes you scared, you're going to overcome it. Lion is not like a dog. A lion is not like a cat. A lion is not like a chihuahua. A lion is a very scary animal. This is what we're talking about. Whatever it is that makes you scared. What problem is a lion in your life? Each and every one of us have their, have their own problems. You might say that you might not have a problem, but we know your family has some problems. You could be very well in your family, has your siblings, but the children that you guys gave birth to, they could have a problem. Maybe at work or your personal problems. So many during the day they're all walking around but at night they don't sleep. When um, they close their eyes they might see a woman or a man a witch. Oh, 
spiritual husband or spiritual wife. Many they don't sleep, but instead they chew on they chew on meat. Within me, 
it helps me pour annoncer la bonne nouvelle to um, announce good news pour délivrer les captifs to um, um, to uh, release the captures pour libérer ceux qui sont en prison to um, release those that are in prison et annoncer une année de grâce and announce a good year of grace mon limo mon santo the Holy Spirit the, the, the Bible says Jesus Christ went before he went he said I'm not going to leave you like this I'm going to, say, I'm going to leave you with the Spirit I'm going, to leave, I'm going to send you a defense I'm going to send you a consolator and the Holy Spirit has already came down within us is within us there isn't the person that also accepts God as this Lord and Savior. If you haven't accepted God, I'm going to give you an invitation today. It's a very simple invitation. I'm giving an invitation. I'm saying welcome to the um, family of the children of God. Don't tell me we're in a uh, Christian family. In the Bible, there's no Christian family. The um, salvation is individual. It doesn't mean when I come with my children, they also become Christians. They have to also accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. When you reach a certain age, you have to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. This is what I'm telling somebody. I'm not telling you that I grew up in a Christian family. You also grew up in a Christian family. Everyone who goes to prayer in a 5 a.m. Catholic. I used to go when Mary was in I'm suffered. I used to do 150 prayers every day. I love that woman. Now the Bible says, let me go back to Mary. The Bible says, a certain grace was given to that woman. A, a grace was given to her. And that's the grace that gave, um, gave birth to Jesus Christ. I uh, close the brackets of Mary. The Bible says, Samson, Samson he was filled with the Holy Spirit, with the Spirit of God. He was pushed by the Spirit of God. That's why he fought the lion. And that's why he ripped the lion apart. He ripped the lion apart like as if he's ripping a small girl. Why? Because he was pushed by the Holy Spirit. A person that is pushed by the Holy Spirit. The way they are is going to be very different. The way they pray is very different. The way of serving God is going to be different. The way of approaching God is going to be different. You're going to have a certain intimacy with God. There's going to be a man or woman that hears the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit doesn't scream, but most of the time he speaks in a very low volume. and intelligence. The Bible says Samson he was filled with God's spirit. The person that wants to conquer was whatever is that's making him say that would be a person that is filled with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. This is what Jesus said. He said it's best for me to go. So that the Holy Spirit can come down. When the Holy Spirit has come down, He's going to show us the things that Jesus Christ said and the things that He did. A person that is filled with, the God, with God's Spirit that will conquer all types of battles. 
we go of the battles. Quel que soit ma camarade, elle est persistée. Regardless of if the problem perceives. Even the, if the problem stands like a mountain. Even if it stands like a mountain. It will move. It will move. It will, it will leave that place. So that you can pass. This is why when a person. A person that wants to conquer a lion in their life. They have to be filled with the fears of the spirit of God. So that the Holy Spirit can give you directions and instructions. Where Samson was told to um, get the lion and rip it apart. Maybe to you. The Holy Spirit can tell you a certain thing. Regard, um, regardless of your whole, your problems. Regardless of the things that's that's regardless, regardless of the thing that you're going through, it will give you directions. Because he is God. Because he is God. The Holy Spirit. A person that wants to conquer. They have to be filled with God's spirit. They have to be filled with God's glory. When you're filled with God's glory, you will not do things as um, everybody does. You will not pray like the others. We can have the same problems. But a person is filled with God's um, spirits. They know how to deal with their problems. If a person is not filled with God's spirits, they will be in front of the problem and they will start trembling and they start to call up people. Call A or B or Z. They will keep calling people. They will start getting scared. They will start trembling. Yes, am I going to conquer this problem? They will start getting scared. A person that has the God's glory within them. A person that has the Holy Spirit within them. They're very different. They can be scared. But they'll go back to God's word. They'll say the word of God says. The, the word of God says. Everything that you ask in prayer. Believe that you have received it. And you will be accomplished. A person that is filled with God's spirit. They deal with things very differently. They understand how to, to approach their problems. Regardless of the problem. Regardless of the problem. Even how, regardless of how big the problem is. Even if it's very easy, hard. It can be um, it can overpass you. It can be too much for your father. It can be too much for your husband. It can be too much for your wife. That, those problems won't be too much for God. And you understand that with God, that's where you're gonna get your 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 your, your help. You'll understand that from God. That is where things are making things are accomplished. The person is very different. A person that is filled with God's spirit. They will deal with problems very differently. They will deal with problems very differently. The Bible says, Samson ripped the line apart. After he, he ripped the line apart and he went, he went to Timna. When he went back to his parents, the Bible says also he went back to Timna on his way. He saw, you see where I killed the lion. He saw a honey. I'm telling somebody in the problem that you have. The problem that is making you cry. The problem that is very difficult. The problem that is very complicated. And that problem.
problem. The solution will come out of it. The solution will come out of it. In that problem, it may, it may make you scared. There are certain things when they tell you, you're going to be very scared. There are certain things if I explain it to you, you're going to be scared. You're going to ask how you're dealing with this. Because it's filled with God's glory. They will conquer. They will fight and they will conquer. Because it's filled with God's spirit. There are problems. If there's a solution to it. To also the family. Because there is that honey. That oh, honey. That honey. That's something too. Well, he didn't only eat it by himself. He said, I'm not going to eat it by myself. I need to give my mother and father. And this the Bible says, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to save you and your family. But they were scared and, and hid. 
Why? Because Goliath came out. The Bible says there was a certain family within that wall. David. The David's siblings. David is asking David to go and give food to his siblings. The Bible says when David came, when Goliath came out, everybody ran away. He says, who is this people that's cussing everybody? Who is this person? If you fight with him, what are you going to get? They said that the, the king said, whoever he, he beats Goliath, they will marry the king's child. They gave, they gave him all the advantages. His brother was telling him to stop. One day we're going to speak about all of them. Because Eliab, those people that bring people down. Is a spirit that, makes, that really brings you down. You're going to get married. But your reputation is really bad. Eliab. One day we're going to speak on them. He's a very bad spirit that has come out of people. Eliab started telling David to not to not do it. He said, You're, young, you're very young. Stay still. Go back to the to the field where you look after animals. David said no, 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 no. David said no. I need to confront this person. They, they took David to Saul. Saul said, You're very young. That person is a, very, is a person of war. I said, I will fight him and I will conquer him. He said, You know, in the forest, I've killed um, lions. I've killed um, animals. I've killed bears. With my bare hand. There are people that kill lions and bears with their bare hands. David. David. <laughs> he was a man of God. He was um poor, they poured oil on him. David. David. He said, I'm going to fight with Goliath. And I'm going to kill him. When he came out to fight with Goliath, Goliath started laughing at him. He said, what am I going to do with this little child? I'm looking like a little pretty child. I'm going to give his body to birds to eat it. David said to him, The person is to really disturb regardless of how big he is regardless of how big he is it's destabilizing me and you know in Congo to tell a person that they are very uncomfortable it's a problem it's a problem you can't say that to a person David looked and said this fight is a fight of God. He praised the um, statues. I 
pray the God of uh, life. I'm the child of God. You call him uncircumcised. Look at this uncircumcised person. And David didn't stop there. Things are still not 
changing. That child is still no on progressing. You do whatever they need this thing. They're still not changing. And you see everything, they're still not changing. I'm telling you, I'm finding a solution for you. I'm going to tell you about a person. There's a, there's a little man, there's a man. And they call him Shiloh. There's a man. They call him the light of the truth of Judah. There's, there's a man. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says. 